and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do something a little different today. Normally, so far, all I've done is gaming videos. And that'll probably be the main thing I do, but I think I might eventually want to branch out to some other stuff as well. Um, so I thought a good one to start with, even though nobody tagged me in it, nobody asked for this, um, is a like get to know me kind of video. So this is my first just sit down and talk video without a game to hide behind. I got a new mic recently, so I hope it sounds okay. I'm still figuring out how to how to use it. Well, currently I'm in editing and I'm only hearing sound out of the left headphone. So still working on the mic, guys. Let's jump into this Q&A. So I just kind of googled YouTuber tag questions. What is your name and the name of your channel? My name is Jasmine and the name of my channel is Piece of Pie. But then I had to add the 314 because Piece of Pie was already taken. What does the name of your channel mean? Uh, so basically in grade six, I'm, I'm more competitive than I think. And my dad came up to me and he's like, I know 10 digits of pie. And told me them and of course my brain went to well now I gotta learn more <laughs> so it just kind of became a thing and at one point I knew 282 digits of pi um, and that just kind of yeah became my thing at school so when I was young and trying to come up with usernames for things piece of pie I think I think my dad recommended it once actually and I've kind of just stuck with it ever since because I never know what else to do <laughs> Where are you from? I am from a smallish town in British Columbia, Canada. A. That's not funny. Why did you start a YouTube channel? The main reason is that I was, I love watching games I used to play as a kid. And I was watching the Harry Potter Let's Plays. And I kind of got caught up with all of them. I, there was never really any new ones, so I was like, why don't I try making one? <laughs> and yeah, so that's how it started. What will your channel be about? Um, so far it's mostly nostalgic gaming videos, uh, but I'd like to eventually maybe, once I work up enough nerve, do like some vlogs or, um, cause I'm trying to be an actor. <laughs> Going, bitch. So I thought it'd be kind of cool maybe to vlog my, the process of the journey to trying to find work in that field. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. Could be many things, but right now, gaming. What do you hope to achieve with your channel? I always liked when people made videos that would distract me if I was having a bad day. It was kind of my escape I could go to. Um, yeah, so if I could be that for someone else that would be pretty cool three things we should know about you that sounds like a share a fun fact about yourself that you should know <laughs> so it's important things coffee machine um i who am i I am a musical theater nerd. Al and Warner were meant to be. I guess that I can say pi to now probably about 120 digits. And I can make trumpet noises with my mouth. <laughs> what do you think the hardest thing will be about becoming a YouTuber? It does take a lot of time um so it's kind of difficult on top of all your everyday life stuff you're doing um and it's also difficult when you're shy like me and like to have the place to yourself before you record <laughs> so i think overcoming shyness of you know vlogging in public and just talking when people are around what do you think the most rewarding thing will be from what i'm seeing so far and it's only been like one or so people but 
anybody tells me that they enjoy watching my videos, just, again, the fact that I could maybe be a part of somebody's day or help make a day a little better. I think that's, that's pretty cool. Do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? I mean, I set out to play all the Harry Potter games and I only finished number two the other day, so we're, <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while. Are you in, have you gone to college? I've not gone to college, but I went to university and I actually have a Bachelor of Science degree. <laughs> And this is where I am with it. <laughs> um, yeah, and my degree is in wildlife and fisheries. It was a really intense science degree. I'd have semesters of like 11 classes and oh my God, it was so hard. <laughs> but I did it and you can too. What's your spirit animal and why? Probably a Deer, because I'm kind of skittish <laughs> and tentative. I like this one. It says, you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? You don't have a choice. You're wearing it. I don't know. It depends. Sometimes fruity, sometimes floral. I can't do like cucumber anymore because it reminds me too much of middle school, which was a good time of life. Middle school is probably my favorite years of school, but um, just at that age, <laughs> I do not want to be a preteen again. <laughs> what are your life goals? To be content. I don't often feel content with myself or my life, so yeah, I think that's, that's my main one. What's the craziest thing you've done? <laughs> Probably decide with a girl that I met, I decided two days later to move my hometown with her to a big city, leave my secure science job with benefits to become an actor. <laughs> what was your dream job as a kid? Marine biologist. So I semi pursued that by doing a wildlife degree. Um, oh my god, my lights just fell over there. But I learned working with animals. I, want, I wanted to work with animals because I love them, but then I realized that that's the reason why I can't, because while I appreciate science and there's so many benefits to zoology and what we learn, um, I myself can't always go through with the scientific practices of non-interference and things like that so I had to step away. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Show them to us. I have a fish named Jinx. My beautiful little beta that I love very much. Do you know your personality type? What is it? I forget what the name of it is but it's um, I'm an I N F J. What social media are you addicted to? Instagram. Follow me. What are you happiest with in your life? That I don't let fear stop me from doing things as much anymore. I've gotten some pretty wonderful opportunities by going for things that scared me. What does your name mean? Well, according to Google, one time it means a gift from God. <laughs> Are you named after anyone? No, my parents couldn't agree on a name. My dad wanted Frisha, and my mom wanted Kalita Carmen. But the only name that they both had on their list was Jasmine, so... What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Elliot. All I can think of is Elliot Moose. He's on the loose. Elliot Moose. He's on the loose. What has required the most courage of you in your life so far? I think the most scared I've ever been and overcame was 
when I first seeked out treatment for my mental health. I've never been more terrified than when I stood outside the door for the first time. Never told anybody real, really much about my struggles and so coming clean with it and then starting to work on those things and admitting all of my secrets was, that was tough, but worth it. So worth it. If you're struggling, reach out. What is your favorite childhood memory? I don't know what my favorite is, but one that I've enjoyed is that we used to, kids are so weird. We used to take broken like pencil crayon leads and we called them mice and we would collect them. And the bigger you could get one, the better. So sometimes we would take fresh pencil crayons and cut them in half to get the lead out. And it became a competition of who had the most mice. So we had to carry them around with us at all times. My collection was pretty substantial. I think the biggest competition I had with that was Eric. What is your favorite color? Pink. Who inspires you? I think Elle Woods, honestly, is a person that, that I look up to. How she moves through the world with kindness, but also knows her worth. And doesn't take shit, basically, but she has great success, but makes friends along the way, and I really like that. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Cookie dough. If you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be? Fear of judgment. I think that's kind of one of the last things really holding me back in life. <laughs> what aspects of your life needs tremendous improvement? My physical activity and nutrition. Can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrows? Can people not do that? Or is that just, do you save old greeting cards and letters or throw them away? I keep them. I have a little, I make little scrapbooks um, every year. And because uh, I'm very sentimental and keep tokens and stuff. So any cards or tickets or things I get, I save. What is your star sign? I'm a Pisces. What is something that amazes you? Honestly, just especially after taking a wildlife and natural resources degree, um, just the, the earth, really, like, I don't know, sometimes I'll be like, Tr trees are just a thing? How does that happen? How did, I don't know, the, world, the earth is just so wonderful, like rainbows, rain, how grass works, I don't know, just little, just everything can be amazing. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Emma Watson, I really look up to her. She's a wonderful lady. What's the worst grade you got on a test? <laughs> In my first year chemistry class. So I had just gone from being straight A, crying if I get below 95% in high school to a 16% on my chemistry final, <laughs> the lab final, which thank God was weighted like an assignment. So it actually didn't affect it that much, but we were, oh, we were so, none of us know what to do, knew what to do. It was so hard that we literally were talking to each other and the instructors didn't stop us because they knew we wouldn't be able to help each other. <laughs> what is one guilty pleasure you enjoy too much to give up? Watching Dance Moms clips. I don't know why I'm so obsessed. <laughs> what did you say? She got me solo tonight. What is something about yourself that you hope will change but probably never will? Replying to everybody and messages and emails faster. There we go. So that concludes my first sit down talkie video. Hope it wasn't too dull to watch. This is my first time editing properly a video. <laughs> Thanks to anyone that watched and anyone 
I really appreciate anybody that's been watching my videos and either commenting or uh, liking or anything, but even just watching means a lot to me. So thank you. I see you and I appreciate you. And I'll see you in my next video.